Greetings everyone and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Well, as you can see in the upper right there, our terraformation index is going crazy. As a matter of fact, we now have a blue sky. I've done some upgrades and I do believe that that has helped a lot, especially with pressure and of course oxygen. Heat's going to be an issue until we do some work. But let's take a look at this guy. This was the uh, the big increase in pressure. It's also giving us some heat. And it's so much more efficient than these guys. As a matter of fact, I should really take them apart. You see, this guy over here, in terms of pressure, is giving us 1.5, but it's costing us 5 kilowatts. Now, this guy over here is giving us 17, and it's only costing us 8.5. So, I mean, these guys here are just really not efficient at all. As a matter of fact, what do I need to build one of these? Iron, iron, titanium, titanium, two aluminum. That's really all I need. As a matter of fact, maybe I should just take these guys apart right now. You know, where's the aluminum? I have gotten kind of lucky with aluminum because there was a couple of meteor showers. And yes, uh, by the way, this place has grown. And uh, I do actually have some of these guys here and you can see I'm actually kind of full I mean the titanium not so much but I did move it out of here because I couldn't fit anymore if you know what I mean but yeah in terms of um the aluminum I got very lucky with some of those meteor storms there was one meteor that actually gave me three aluminum but in this case let's grab two of these and let's take this apart because we're going to get some power back from this as long as I take both of them apart. All right, so take that apart, take that apart, and let's build another one of these. Hold it a second. Boom, there we go. Okay, you shouldn't be drilling into him. That's probably my fault. I accept full responsibility. Like I said, it did cost me some... Here, I might as well put the titanium in here. It did cost me some aluminum, but I mean, that's really what it's for. So that's going to really help with the pressure for a while. As a matter of fact, what is the next pressure item? The nuclear reactor. All right, I do have two uranium. I'm pretty sure I need more, but I do know where it is. So that's going to help a lot. And then the ore extractor. That's an important one. Okay, we're doing good. And also, you'll notice that I moved all the uh, the tier 2 veggie tubes over here. Uh, this is another instance where I should probably just get rid of them. So I have the tier 3 out here. Yes, it does sit outside. And unfortunately, it has to sit on the ground. I tried to put it on a platform to make it look good. But unfortunately, it has to sit on the ground. I don't know, is it doing something in the ground? I have no idea. But this one is getting us 26 oxygen for 7 and a quarter kilowatts of power. These guys over here, that does have the 200% in it, by the way. So this also has a 200%, and that's doing 2.4 for 1 and a quarter, which means that these guys are doing about the same amount of power, maybe a little less, but significantly less oxygen. And they are tying up good seeds over here. So I do need to make more of them so we can get the oxygen flowing. Now heat is a bit of a problem. I put the two tier twos back here. And they have been doing the job. The problem is that, well, the tier three requires me to make an iridium rod. Now, in order to do that, I need the advanced crafting station, as you can see. And we can make that. And we do actually have the materials for that. So I need three aluminum. I need titanium, magnesium, and silicon. So why don't we just go and grab that stuff right now? All right. I may have to go to the cave, though. I do have some. I might be able to make one rod. I don't remember. I think it's eight or nine. I'm not really too memorable about that. We'll have to see. And then I need one, two three of those all right so i think i can put this in here somewhere you'll notice i have a ladder i started working on an upstairs the reason for that is because i had so many materials from the uh, the meteors 
There were two that went down right after each other, one after the other. I'm going to cover the whole area. I just as a starting point down here. You know what I mean? All right. I'm thinking we put it right here for now. We'll worry about a final location later. But I'm thinking that'll work. All right. Now, here's my question. I need nine. I think I have nine. Oh, can I make the tier four now? That's three super alloy. You know, I do actually have three super alloy, but oh, because the backpack. More space just sounds like a really great idea. Rocket engine. Jetpack. Okay, so I need to make two rocket engines. Yeah, I need lots of stuff, don't I? Lots and lots of stuff. All right, well, for now, we need heat. So do I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. I do have nine. All right. So let's do this. Boom. All right. I think that goes outside. So let's just check it out. What else do I need for this? I need silicon, titanium, and aluminum. So I got an aluminum over here. I am running out quickly. But then again, I have not been over there yet. So the aluminum I've been getting, we found in the ships, we found in boxes, and came down from meteors. Like I said, I got really lucky with the meteors. Why is it dark in here? As somebody pointed out, there's lights. Yes, I know it's dark outside, but I only have two little windows here. And what, the lights get dark all of a sudden? Doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, it's not like I have to sleep or something, if you know what I mean. All right, so let's see about the heater. What else did I need for this? Okay, aluminum, silicon, titanium. So let's get some titanium over here. And let's get some silicon down there. Let's just sort that so we know what we have. Fortunately, I have a lot of silicon now. Very important. Now, I don't think you can make these in here. Oh, you can. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me just find a spot for this. I mean, I can just do that. There we go. I do have a lot of extra power. By doing what we did with the drills, uh, we got some back, of course. Uh, at the moment, I have... Ooh, that just ate up a lot of my power. Yeah, okay. So, in other words, I can't install anything else unless I upgrade. I have, I think, four of these now. Yes, I have four of them. So, that's how we were able to... Oh, be, no, I mean, this was a reduction in power. The two that I took out were consuming 10 kilowatts. That one does 8.5, so I got some back for that. I'm guessing this guy just eats... Oh, this eats power too, doesn't it? Yeah, that's 12 and a half. And this one over here in terms of power, 17 and a half. But it is producing a lot of heat. It's also doing a little bit of pressure. I'm not sure how it's doing that inside. As a matter of fact, I don't know how this heat is actually getting outside if you know what I mean. But I'm guessing that, oh wow, our uh, terraformation index is going nutso now. Let's see. All right, so we're waiting to get the launch platform. I'm not going to be using that one for a while. All right, the grass spreader. Are we really that close? I mean, we need water. When is water going to start forming? Hold on a minute. Okay, well, I don't see any water yet. I do see cobalt and cobalt. Just going to grab them. And titanium, why not? At this point, I have storage, so why not just grab all of it? Here, put the titanium in here for now. And then I think I've been keeping them. Nope, nope, not there. Yeah, here we go. All right, and in terms of food, well... I made another one of these. As you can see, it's nearly done. Uh, the thing is, the squash is the good one. Okay, hydration. Yeah, I have water with me. I do have extra ice too, but that is uh, something that's going to become a problem until we start getting water. And there is a device that we're going to be able to get, but it's going to be a while. The one that... Ca yeah, right here. The atmospheric water collector. So that one is going to basically solve our water problems until we actually have water. 
But the thing is, the water we can drink outside is not water that we can use for constructing things. Like, I mean, the veggie tubes all need water, even the new one. If you can see here, right here, see, that still needs water. So we can't gather that once the, uh, the lakes start filling in. Now, like I mentioned, food. 81, those are nearly done. I do have food over here. And it's like I mentioned, the squash is actually the same as one of these space foods. This one is only 25, but I mean, that's the seeds that I have right now. So why don't we just take that and eat that, and then I'll just carry an eggplant around with me. But I mean, I am making the food now. So these guys over here are basically an emergency supply. And eventually, we'll really start making the good stuff, like when we have the honey from the bees. And these guys, like 83%, and then you don't really have to replant them because the seeds are just in there. So as soon as you grab one, it starts growing a new one. And these guys, of course, are very expensive in terms of power. So otherwise, they're not really you know, hard to make. If you look at them, look, it's just one aluminum, one iron, and one water bottle. But I mean, the power is the key. And we can't really build anything else without more power what would I need to make another one of those wonderful solar panels? Let's see here. Iron, magnesium, silicon. It's the aluminum that's the issue. And that is something I'm going to have a problem with fairly soon. All right. I think two of those. Here, hold it a second. What do we need for this? All right. And then I need a silicon, a magnesium, and a iron. So we'll just grab the iron. And one of those, one of those. That should do the job. All right, so this will give us more power to work with. So we can do some more updates. I mean, basically, these are pieces of iron to me now. I mean, they're so insignificant that, you know, I'm just going to take them down now and put the iron away because the iron is more important to me than the little dribble of power that it's going to give me. All right, can you just, I like to pack them in as close as I can. Yeah, you know what, that's, I'm just going to get rid of these guys right now. Because the amount of power they have is insignificant. I would rather have the iron. These, for now, are okay. Once we get our first nuclear reactor, we'll be swimming in power. But of course, we're going to have to find a lot of aluminum for that, aren't we? All right, just load this up. Nuclear reactor. We can make a nuclear reactor. Here's the question. How much uranium do I require? Oh, I need a rod. And I need super alloy. Now, I do know where the uranium is. It is a bit of a walk. But And I also know where super alloy is. I don't know if those caves are actually open at this point. I mean, do they have to melt? All right, see, I do have three of these. And where did I leave? Oh, is it over here? I put the odd things over here. Oh, and I do have some. Oh, I can't fit those, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to make another cabinet, ain't I? All right, so I have two uranium. You know, oh, here's the thing. I would really like more running speed. And if I got the Agility Boots 2, that would do it. But as you can see, you need Super Alloy for that. I mean, I could make a trip to get some Super Alloy. Once again, I don't know if that cave is available yet. Once we have the Ore Extractor, things will work a lot better for us. A lot better. Are we close to anything good? Well, we got the Biodome. That's coming up fairly quickly. What's next here? Oh, the Ore Extractor. Yeah, more pressure for that. More pressure. And the launch platform, I don't really care at this moment. The grass spreader, I mean, can we do that without having water? I mean, that is coming up pretty soon, isn't it? All right, we do have the extra heat now. We have more of this. I should make another one of these. How much do they require? Yeah, aluminum. Silicon, silicon, magnesium. You know what? I am actually having a little bit of a problem now with water. Until we can start getting it, it's going to be a problem. So let me just see about finding some more ice. I see some ice over here. 
Fortunately, they're easy to see from a distance. Oh, is that iron? I will take that. I didn't even see it. I see some ice over here. But I also see some ice over here, too. Maybe we should go looking for aluminum. That's what I'm starting to think. Because so many things that I need to make now require aluminum. Yeah, I just don't want to run out of water. And we'll grab this. We'll grab this. And of course, Yeah, there's actually a lot of ice around here. Hopefully, uh, it won't be long before we won't need to do that anymore. But we have to advance in order for that to happen. I certainly wouldn't mine a nuclear reactor. It's just going to be very expensive. All right, let's just drop... Do I have uh, water on me? All right, here. Let's just drop all of these. I'll keep one to make another water. And then I'll put the iron in here. Yeah, so we can do some serious building. Uh, that's the reason I basically just kind of extended the base here. And also, like, I started working on a second floor. I'll probably have windows all the way around. But then again, you kind of have to finalize how big it's going to be down here. Now, unfortunately, I can't build here. Apparently, the um, it comes up too high, so it won't let me build here. So this is going to have to be one side, even though it will let me build here. But, you know, I don't know if I want to make an odd, um, an odd size, if you know what I mean. And we do have a lot of things that have to be coming fairly soon that we have to attach. Yeah, I didn't put any... Um, I didn't put any uh, things underneath, any platforms underneath. I don't know, maybe I'll do that just to make it look good. It does cost iron, though. Not a lot, but it does cost iron. Let's have that. How is the food? We ready? Okay, yep. So, we'll just put these guys back in here. You know, why don't you take that? And I'll just hold on to that one. Yeah, water again. All right, we'll let it go down a bit more. Do I hear... I thought for a moment there that I heard another uh, meteor storm. I look forward to them at this point. I'm wondering, should we take a trip to the um, to the cave? Oh, there's also a couple of other places maybe we can go into and get some stuff. Interesting. All right, let me think about this for a moment. I got two waters. And, well, here's the thing. Well, not here. What would I need for the backpack? Yeah, I'd have to spend my super alloys for that, wouldn't I? Oxygen. I mean, it'll just give me a little extra oxygen, but I think that being able to carry more is just more important. Here's the thing. I want to make a trip. I want to see if we can get to the super alloy cave. It happens to be... It's a bit of a walk. But if we bring the materials necessary to make an oxygen tent, there shouldn't be any problems with it. I will need to make sure that I have the appropriate amount of food. Here, let me just eat that. And I'll bring a squash and that along with me. I got two of those. Oxygen, as long as I have an extra one, it shouldn't be a problem. Here, give me that. And we'll just have that right now. All right, let me get the materials that I'm going to need. I need two titanium, I need three iron, and I need one silicon. That will allow me to make that. I think since I'm heading over there, I'm going to use the super alloy. I think it was a titanium that I needed, because I think that just having more pack space is just critical. All right, so here's what we have right now. I think it's going to give me another row... Or column, I should say. All right, so let's just do that, because I think that's probably the highest priority. All right. No, it just, it, it did add another row, not another column. I'm guessing the next one's going to be a column. But I mean, being able to carry loot back and forth, I think, has a very high priority. 
Uh, but I do need to get super alloy because like, for instance, this one here, the agility boots, I'll be able to run 30% faster instead of what I'm doing right now, which is 15% faster. Running fast is a very good thing in this game after all. And then of course, the uh, oxygen tank, that's gonna need three more. So if I could come back with six or more, we could do some serious upgrading and that would be very nice. All right, I have what I need, so let's go. We have to head towards the Iridium Cave over there and then around that way. Now, I think there is also, there's like an underground thing too. I sometimes have trouble finding it. It's like a ladder in the ground. We might be able to get some materials in there too, although there's chests in there. We'll have to see. Do we want to open them? Oh, and I see another chest there. We're going to have to remember those. I just don't want to open them right now. See, if I'd opened them as soon as I arrived, then I would have gotten basic stuff. See, now I might start getting uranium and I might start getting um, super alloy and uh, aluminum and such like that. All right, we're making good time here. Um, I'm just going to grab iron just because. Right, there's a cave down around here. Now, I'm just going to pop my head up a bit here and look around. Notoriously, I have trouble finding that ladder. And of course, there's a big ship over here. Okay. Yeah, I have problems finding the ladder. All right, uh, I am starting to have some problems with... Uh, Oxygen. Get around this. Yeah, and things are getting very sparkly. Oh, there it is. Okay, the cave is over there. All right, let's just stop for a moment. Let's make ourselves a little oxygen tent, as I like to call it. Oh, I need one titanium. That's right, I used the titanium. Oh, that's terrible. I need titanium bad. I could use the oxygen, but I don't want to do it. That was a terrible oversight on my part. Okay, yep, yep, I know. Uh, boom, boom, and fill. Whew. Okay, let's just pop our heads into here for a moment. And turn the light on. Oh, that's a seed... Yeah, I'll take that for now. Okay, so let's see. What do you got in here? Oh, there is a lot of good stuff in here. Okay, and we now have access to the biodome. Okay, we'll leave this for the moment. I am gonna I am gonna want to grab these things. I'll grab the aluminum. Squash! Squash seeds! Oh, that is so good. Alright, uh, because we are doing going on a mission to grab stuff. All right, let's go back up here and let's pop our head in here. Yeah, more squash seeds is really, really good. And we do have another uranium. All right, so let's take this apart. Like I said, the whole purpose of this is seeing if we can get ourselves some super alloy. There is another place, but we don't have access to it yet because there needs to be a whole lot of melting. So this cave up here has super alloy lying around. And when you get the good ore extractors that uh, can get special things, you put it in there and you'll get as much super alloy as you want. Right. And there, of course, is a big ship. And there's more stuff around there, but that is not what I'm looking for right now. What I'm looking for right now is in here. Okay. Um, super alloy. Okay, can I pick that up? Oh, I'm in. Um, I'm not in mining mode. Okay, how's the oxygen? Okay, chest. We're just gonna leave that for now. 
We're here to see if we can get as much of this as we can. All right, I'm going to have to build... All right, let me build the oxygen tent next to the door. Okay, why don't we just do this right here so that we can look around. And this one over here. There we go. Bill? Okay, how many have we gotten? We've gotten four. Like I said, at least six would be good, but I would like as many as I can get like that. Getting personal upgrades are very good. Okay, so there's another chest here. There's no reason to up open them now anyway, because I want to stuff my inventory with super alloy. And of course, like I said, if you put a uh, one of the good uh, mineral extractors in here, you'll get a lot of super alloy, among other things. Launch platform. I'm a long way from doing that, though. But it's good to have it unlocked. Basically, you fire rockets into space in order to add heat and pressure and oxygen and eventually, you know, uh, plant life and insects and such like that. There we go. All right, looking around. And of course, there are meteors that will bring super alloy down. But you have to catch it quickly because they will vanish on the ground quickly. Right, I think that we're good. Let me just fill up with oxygen and then we'll take another quick look around. Right, how many do we have? Oh, we're doing really good. We got 12. Yeah, the problem here is that um, I don't have space for my materials anymore. All right, but I am going to take water and I'm going to take food. Right here, I'll have this one too. I think it'll just fit, which is important because I really need to carry everything that's here back. Otherwise, I'm going to have to drop something. Because I'm not going to make it back alive otherwise. Right, I got everything. All right, that's good. Let's start getting out of here. All right, very soon we're going to be making a trip over there. Because there's a lot of good stuff in there too. It's very big too. Yeah, and we're going to have to come back to loot that as well. It's just like I said, I don't have any inventory space. And there's nothing that I am carrying at the moment that I want to drop. So let's get back to the base. Check it out. My oxygen supply is going to get me all the way back from the uh, super alloy cave. And of course, we're about to do some upgrading, aren't we? Ooh, wee. Okay, so oh, let me get this out of my hands here. All right, so let's drop some of this super alloy off. How many do I have here? I have six, and that's kind of what I wanted. All right, what do I need for those upgrades? We have the backpack. I need cobalt. Yeah, it's over here, right? Okay, so we have 280 at the moment oxygen. So when we do this, we have 370 now. All right, now I also want to see about those uh, agility boot upgrades. I can't get them here, right? I mean, the jetpack isn't useful to me until I can make the rockets and I'm going to need more super alloy, which I have, but the uranium. I would need four uranium to make the jet, or the, the rocket engines so that I could put them in there. So I might have to make a trip to the... Uh, the uranium cave. That is a bit of a hike, though. All right, we'll have to see how that works out. I'm going to have to start leaving the oxygen stations lying around. That way, I don't have to pick them up and carry them, and I can use them as, like, getting from one place to the other. But I am going to need the exoskeleton upgrade. Do I need any super alloy for that? 
Oh, that does remind me. We got a chip. So let's throw this in here and see what we get. The recycling machine. Wouldn't have been my first choice. No, it definitely would not have been my first choice. Okay, the exoskeleton, all I need that's different there is uh, an aluminum. As a matter of fact, why don't we just do that right now? All I need is two magnesium and what I have in my inventory. Uh, magnesium, one, two. All right, so what this is going to do is it's going to... Oh, I won't be able to do this until I drop this stuff. Right, because here's here's what's going to happen. Here, let me drop this. Oh, that's a problem. Hold on a minute. Okay, good. It moved up there. Because if I drop that, then everything would spill on the floor. And I don't need the oxygen one for the moment. All right, so if it does a replacement of this, I shouldn't lose anything. All right, so we'll make that. Right, now we have the extra layer. So we can put that in. We can put that in. And we can put that in. And we got space for others. So I could make the um, the compass now. Where is the compass? I could also do the mining upgrades. But for now... Okay, that's going to be silicon, magnesium, aluminum, two aluminum. Ooh, two aluminum? Yeah, I can't... Um, I can't do that. Not now. Not until I have more. It's like I said, I kind of know the directions of where I am. That does remind me, I can build a, uh, a beacon. That way, I'm always pointing back to the base. But I mean, I know this area pretty well, and I'm not going to get turned around. Once I start traveling, like for instance, going to the uranium cave, that's where you might get lost, and that's where you might have some serious problems. By the way, how is the food? 92. 92. So those guys are nearly ready, and as you can see, we're just going to keep stacking up the food. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to replace one of those with the squash. Because like I said, the squash is 40, which is the equivalent of one of these. The eggplants are only 25. I mean, I'm going to make more of them, so it's good to have a lot of seeds. But if I have three of them, I would much rather have another squash. All right, 94. As soon as they're ready, I'll grab them and I'll take the... Uh, eggplant out of one of them and i'll put the squash in the other one okay so what were we going to do oh i wanted the agility boots so what do i need for the agility boots now all right fabric i do have fabric there we go all right because personal upgrades are very important okay so now i have these and Yes, I do seem to be moving significantly faster now. That's going to make traveling a lot better. Of course, the jetpack is going to make things wonderful, but I don't have what I need for that yet. I'll need a lot of uranium for that. All right, are we done here? So I have an extra... Oh, put that away too. Okay, so we have an extra seven super alloy. That's very good. Um, we'll probably get some from different places, let me put the, let's put this over here and let's do a quick sort. So I have three uranium, which isn't enough to do much. Are these done? They're done. All right. So take that, take that, take that, and then access this, take the eggplant out, put more squash in. So I have two squash being produced right now. All right. Let's throw the food over here. Do I need food? Oh, I can have one of the eggplants. And I have the seeds over here, I believe. Right. Once power isn't a problem, we'll be producing a lot of food. We do actually need eggplants for certain things in the future. So uh, that is going to be something we'll do. For now, I'll do... Oh, not that. Right. We, we picked up the seed in the bunker there, didn't we? All right. Going to have to go back there. We've already taken a look at what's there. So we'll just put this over here. And the seeds, did I keep the seeds in here? No, I think they actually were over here. Yep, they were. We do have one more 150, but it's like I said, I need to upgrade these to that. And uh, wow, look at that terraformation index going crazy there. 
We're over 400 now. 400,000, uh, that is. So are we, oh, we unlock this one. What's next? Microchip pinning allows you to pin one crafting recipe. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that means I'm not going to use any more of those microchips until I get this thing. Wow. That means I get to pick whatever I want. Oh, that was just terrible because there were things I want. All right, now there is one last thing I want to do before we go, other than drinking water because I was very thirsty. Uh, there's a panel that shows us the entire progress. All right, right there. Doesn't require a lot, too. I think it's a big one. All right, iron, silicon, silicon, and cobalt. So let's just make that up, and then we'll see where we are in the grand scheme. Um, and it was iron? Is this it? Yep, there it is. All right. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Okay, so here we are. Boom. Terraformation stages. Okay, we have clouds. We're moving towards rain. Once we have rain... That's when we'll have water gathering. That's when we'll have our lakes. That's when it'll be a bit easier to deal with water. I can drink the water at that point, as opposed to actually having the water containers that we need. Yeah, I just, I need a lot of ice. I also should probably replace these with these. It's not like I don't have the uh, iron to do it. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. We're making a lot of progress here, a lot of progress. We got the pressure down. I think that's going to do us for a while. And uh, I do want more of these, but yeah, we're going to need a lot of power. I mean, we have extra power right now since we did put one of those down. But I mean, yeah, we need a lot of power. And a lot of materials, too. We did good with the super alloy, but uh, I'm going to have to make a trip over there to get some aluminum. There's also a crash ship over there, and I do believe there is a golden chest. I think, once again, we should wait on the golden chest for now because I want them to have really good stuff in them. So I think that's going to be it for now. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.